Hey everyone, welcome to WebSluice YouTube Live. My name is Trisha Griffith, the very proud owner of WebSluice.com. Once again, my crew of 35 lighting people just can't seem to get the lighting right. Let's see if that's a little better. A little better? Maybe so. Uh, behind me, we have a sleeping Scrappy Joe. And right over here, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a gray cat here. This is Ivan. He is uh, the, the most annoying cat to my cat Boo that ever lived. But he's a great now. So he's here uh, visiting for a while while his owner finds a new place. And here's Babe. Babe has already been up and running about less than a week ago. The vet wanted us to put her to sleep. She is running. She is eating. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. So there's your update. Me, I could use a little more fiber in my diet, but that's a whole other show. Let's get right to you in chat. Hi, everybody. KLJ, thank you so much for being here, my darling. I do appreciate it. And Miss we Miss Les Miss We Lassie, good to see you. Also, Aaron V. And let's see, Connie, my one flipping life. Glad you're here. Uh, Nikki Emmerich, Peekaboo, Cockatiel. Oh, I hope you have cockatiels. I love them. And let's see. Uh, gosh, there's so many Peekaboo. Oh, yeah, I already said that. Sunny, one, two, three, four, five. Everybody's here. Laura, Alicia, Elizabeth, Chris, Quedley. Lucille Blue, Chrissy, Chris, I mean, just the gang. Marilyn Landis. We have a lot of people from Scotland here. That is so cool. Uh, I'd like to open up and say, uh, anybody from Scotland, uh, can I come live with you? Can you take care of me? Just checking because I'd love to live in Scotland. The birds you hear are not my birds. They are magpies that are eating my cat food. That's just how the life is around here. Okay, let's get right to it. Lots to talk about here. This morning, uh, that disgusting human being that we know as the suspect in the Vanessa Guion case uh, made her initial court appearance, okay? And that was today. And this was in Waco, Texas. And this comes from 7 News. I'll put the, uh, the link up. Now I'm going to put up her Twitter account again because it's absolutely disgusting. Here is the link to the article I'm going to re read just a little bit of for us to update us on Vanessa's case, okay? Uh, Vanessa Guion has been officially identified by the U.S. Army. That's also the big news, the big tragic news. And uh, Vanessa's case is one of the top cases on Web Sleuths as well, and I'll be putting up the link to that discussion and reading a couple of people's posts because it is very interesting. But first, let's talk about this court appearance by... Ms. Disgusting herself, Cicely Ann Aguilar. She made her official uh, initial appearance today in federal court, okay? And she appeared via Zoom. According to the complaints, Aguilar helped 20-year-old U.S. Army Specialist Aaron Robinson in disposing of Vanessa's body. Now, authorities say Robinson committed suicide when they approached him. He grabbed the gun and shot himself in the head, okay? And, um, that he did admit to Aguilar that he killed Vanessa by striking her in the head with a hammer while on Fort Hood on April 22nd, the same day that Vanessa disappeared. Okay, now after the search on June 21st, Texas Rangers found a burn site with burned remains. I, all of that disgusting things. Now, cell phone records showed both Robinson and Aguilar were near the Leon River together. That is where Vanessa's body was found. It is so awful. Now, uh, Aguilar faces up to 20 years in prison. She should get more for a conspiracy to tamper with evidence in five years of supervised release if found guilty. Oh, yay. She's expected to reappear in court July 14th for a preliminary, for the preliminary and bond hearing. And I'm assuming we will hear more, maybe perhaps even get some documents released. But what I want to show you is this person's Instagram account. Now, I showed this to you on Saturday night, I believe. And um, uh, uh, this woman claims that Robinson was her boyfriend. No, this woman was trying to sell herself via Instagram. And I want everybody to realize something when you check her Instagram account, if it's still up. I haven't checked it yet uh, this morning. But in it, she talks about she has a uh, 
a hashtag of, of burn. And that hashtag was added after they burned Vanessa's body. So I, I should have checked this before I even logged on. I don't know if it's down yet or not. But uh, we've got all kinds of screenshots. So let's see here. Is it down? Is it there? Oh, it is still there. You tell me if this is a girlfriend or if this is somebody who is trying to, oh, I don't know, sell herself. You know, she, she has uh, tatted babes, blue eyes, follow me. My kids have paws, beauty with a beast vibe. This is what she said. She's got the fire in her souls and will burn you alive. She put that in after, after she burned Vanessa Guillaume's body. It, it, that just makes me absolutely sick. Okay. There, it's obvious to me she is selling herself. It's obvious to me that she is a sex worker, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, if that was your girlfriend, would you really allow that type of crap? I mean, she has all, if you look under her pictures, she has all kinds of things, you know, calls like one of her hashtags, I think, uh, you know, thick white woman or something like that. I mean, just bizarre. So, yeah, she has my my wrath and my ire today because damn her. Damn her straight to hell. Now. Uh, if we go to the web sleuths, I'm going to put up the last page of the discussion, but it moves quite quickly on web sleuths of uh, Vanessa's case. Let me put this up here. I just want to read a couple of things that people have said. Yeah, definitely, CC. She was hungry for attention. Oh, yes. Aguilar was desperately starving for attention, no doubt. And look what she did to please her man. Good God Almighty. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Oh, well, it looks like Fort Hood's going to hold another press conference today at 6 p.m. So that would be uh, 7 p.m. Eastern on the current status of the, the Vanessa Guillon investigation. And I will put up a Twitter link so you can see. Okay, and thank you, Mass Guy, for posting this. Mass Guy is fabulous at keeping us updated on what's going on in cases. The man is absolutely amazing at doing that. And I'm very grateful that he is at Web Sleuths. Okay, let's see here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, um, Crohn's Eye says, I wonder what the exact nature of the harassment was. There have been many instances of Fort Hood soldiers trafficking others. That is true. And then, uh, Crohn's Eye post. Here's one, Sergeant First Class Gregory McQueen, we've talked about him before, who, believe it or not, was the Sharp Sexual Harassment Response Prevention Representative who ended up recruiting troops for prostitution. And in his post, or her post, uh, they have the, uh, the actual article. And this is, I believe, post number 415 on this thread, if you would like to take a look at it. And see, we have just amazing web members at Web Sleuths. Oh, there is my, uh, let's see here. Okay. Whenever I hear my uh, Law and Order, zoom, zoom, that means I have usually have a text message. And usually the text message is saying, oh, Trisha, you have toilet paper coming out of your neck. How did that happen? Or, oh, Trisha... There's something green and leafy in your teeth. So I tend to look at this while I'm on the air. I do apologize, but I am addicted. It's a horrible addiction. I cannot break it. Okay. Hi, Hoppy Hoppy. Yeah, they both are very vile. Charlie Hunt, there's more going on besides sexual harassment at Fort Hood. Oh boy, do I, do I know that. Uh, KLJ. One is one of our whack troll wonderful moderators, and um, she has to leave, uh, it says here, because she needs to talk to somebody in her HR department. So her real life is calling. I want to say, uh, KLJ did not ask permission to continue her real life. So she's doing this on her own time, and she will be docked. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of their own time, 
our good friend at crimeonline.com, Lee Egan, is on vacation this week. Again, did not check with me. But uh, so I told her I won't be bugging her unless I want to. So we will be hearing from other people at Crime Online this weekend and many other people this week about the current cases. And those interviews will take place at the 10 p.m. Eastern show that we do every night. We do this show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, Beverly Brawell, she is a sicko. Oh, VP Hussy Mouse is here. Uh, it was a Twitter link. Hold on, let me get it again. About the press conference today to do an update. Hold on. Okay, this was posted just a few minutes ago by Mass Guy. And let me get to that. Oh, sorry, this page doesn't exist. Oops. Okay, well, Mass Guy, I just gave you all kinds of accolades and, and basically totally singing your praises. Now I'm going to have to fire you. Anyway, it was with uh, it was from Brandon at KWTX. So uh, let's see if we can find that. In fact, um, VP, if you could, if you're on Twitter, if you could see if there's anything about the uh, press conference today. If not, don't worry about it. But mask, I'm just kidding you. You're you're forgiven once, once. Okay. Oh, you know, you just think about Vanessa's family. And her poor mother. Oh, my God. Let's see. Yes, this is the one. Thank you, VP. Uh, VP, the, VP put up the correct link. So it'll be at, I'm assuming that's 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Matan, and 4 p.m. Pacific. That should be interesting. We're going to see if the... Uh, if they say over and over and over, no sign of sexual harassment, no sign of sexual harassment other than Vanessa's dead body, you know. Cosmic Muffin, good to see you. Mary D, glad you're here. Uh, Coscal 54, hi there. Rebel Rose, I am glad you're here too. Alexis R. <laughs> I remember the last time I had toilet paper coming out of my neck. Oh, the embarrassment. Yeah, Margie B. Phelps, uh, Special Investigator Phelps, was very defensive. He's the Army uh, representative doing, the, well, he did the first press conference. Very defensive right out of the gate. Hello, Sherry Turner. Good to see you. Anyway, okay. Now. Lori Vallow, Chad Daybell, you guys, I have been going down this, these rabbit holes all weekend long. I, they're great because they have all kinds of new information. And a shout out to uh, the podcast WTAF for getting court documents from the custody battle between Joe Ryan and Lori Vallow. And it's very disturbing, very disturbing. Now, Joe Ryan was not an angel, let me tell you. But according to one of the, I believe it was a therapist, they felt that uh, that Lori was pushing tightly to say that Joe molested her. Uh, so hang on, I'm going to go and get you the uh, their podcast link, okay? Now they said they have already, uh, like they they have like seventeen hundred or seventeen hundred pages, so it's going to be very hard for them, uh, you know, to get it all out there. By the way, there's some jerk taking WTAF's watermark off the pages that they purchased. That is just so low, you know. That's just rotten. So if you see any of these pages that are put up recently and don't have WTF watermark. Not cool. Not cool. Okay. Here is their, um, 
here is their YouTube channel. Like I said, hats off to them. That was an, an incredible find and very, very expensive, I might add. Very expensive. Hi, Louise Davidson. I'm glad you're here. And thank you, Louise, uh, for your kind message on Facebook about, about Babe. Very helpful. Marilyn, oh my God. Mary Deathy Deals. I just call you Deals. Glad you're with us. Liz Parsons. Oh, that's okay, honey. That's not your list. I don't want you to worry. That's not your fault. What happened? Okay, somebody else did that. So don't worry. I'm talking about removing the watermark. Yeah, you're right, Connie. Uh, Lori seems very good at in venting memories for her children. But anyway, I, I can't even do like a true official update because there's just so much stuff out there. I found another post from somebody who says they're going to be a witness at the case, defending one of Lori's brother, brothers in this. And I'm gonna read it tonight. Uh, I got permission from the person to read it. But again, there's just so much bizarreness going on in this case. And I, I don't even know where to begin, but I can tell you my darling true crime angels that if you go to, let me make sure I have the right one here. If you take a look at the timeline that Gardner 1850 has put up for, uh, the Vallow case, it, uh, nobody can beat it, I'm telling you. It is truly amazing. And um, hang on here. What is this? Why did I, oh God, Lord. You know, I just sometimes, I really, I just fed through a hole in the door sometimes. I think that's really what needs to happen. <laughs> Maddie Hall, th Mandy Hall. Oh, Mandy, thank you so, so much. I love the name Mandy. Love it, love it, love it. There is the uh, Webster's discussion about Lori Vallow, Chad Daybell. Mandy Hall, that is very, very sweet of you. And hiya, right back. And I love British Sterling. Thank you. Okay. And I'm going to put up the timeline really quickly here for uh, Lori. Okay. Or for the Vallow case, I should say, not just Lori, but, you know. And again, Gardner, 1850. Oh, my gosh, that woman is my hero. Okay, this might be, hold on, this might be a, uh, a scammer. IRS, may I help you? IRS, may I help you? IRS, may I help you? UN, may I help you? Police Department, may I help you? Dudley Do-Right, at your service, may I help you? They're just still on the line. Come on. Yep, they hung up. Dang it, I wanted to play with them. Okay. Anyway, uh, this timeline is truly amazing by Gardner 1850. Yeah, I don't know Gardner 1850, but uh, I want to I want to marry this person just because they're so organized and that's what I need in my life because it is about me. Okay, here we go. Please look at this amazing timeline. Oh, whoops, VP has email, so I already got it up. Sorry, I didn't see that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Jody35, hi. Oh, I'm glad I made you laugh. Tammy Cup, good to see you. Hi, Mandy Hall. Uh, what is that? Somebody texting me again. Oh, my God, what have I got hanging out of my teeth? Oh, yeah, saw that. Thank you, VP. Thank you very much. Okay, now, that's the um, update, if you can call what I just said an update, on the Vallow case and the uh, Vanessa Guion case. A couple other things I want to mention to you. When I went to our missing 
discussion forum today because now Vanessa, since she has been officially identified, has been moved to locate at that discussion. When I went to the missing, the first case I saw was uh, this case. Simi Adams, 24, walked away from the hospital March 21st, 2019. This was at the top. Now, it's not a case that got a lot, hardly any, actually, hardly any uh, posts on it, but somebody was asking for an update. And again, this is just somebody posting this and uh, taking time out of their day to help someone they don't even know. Now, I don't know what's going on with this case, but whoops a daisy, that's not what I wanted. Well, hold on. Good Lord, I, like I said, I just need to be locked up, fed through a hole. I can't do anything. Uh, here is the case about Mr. Abrams. He's from Canada. And I think this is a great example of what you can do about missing people you don't even know. This case hasn't got hardly any attention. Take a look at it. Take a look at it and see. And then go to our missing forum and find an old case and bring it up and see if there's been any updates, just like they did for Mr. Abrams today. I think that's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So let's see. We have a lot of cases from Canada. We have a lot of people from Canada on WebSleuths. We love our Canadians. We love our Canadians. And uh, DOTR is an incredible member at WebSleuths. I, I don't know if DOTR is a man or a woman, but this person does a lot of work on the missing cases and um and uh, this person writes as of june 14th cannot find a recent update but hoping that simi has been located and that could be we don't know so anyway uh dotr has posted a lot there on this case so take a look this is again dotr i guess doter i'm not quite sure how they want to pronounce but taking time out of her, her, his or her day, her, or his day, and posting about someone she doesn't even know. That's heart, my friends. And that's something that we can all do just once, just once a week even, okay? Okay. Uh, let me tell you what we're gonna talk about tonight, okay? There is uh, a GoFundMe for Lindsay Baum. I think it's been up for a while, but we're gonna talk a little bit about the Lindsay Baum case since this GoFundMe has been set up. Okay, we'll talk about uh, Vanessa Guillon again, have a little bit more information on uh, Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell and some of the things that are uh, floating around social media. But there's one other case I want you to all look at, and this is a big problem. This is uh, from an Indian reservation, and our American Indian women they are going missing on reservations and, and it is, I think it's, al it's almost like a, it just, it's just nonstop. There's just so many. It, it is unbelievable. And here's one that I want you to look at. It's almost like an epidemic. That was the word I was trying to think of. Epidemic. That's such a hard word to come up with. Okay. Take a look at this. Okay, this is from Wisconsin. Caitlin Kelly, 22, uh, Menominee Indian Reservation, June 16th, 2020. She's gone missing. One of the, God knows how many hundreds or thousands of American Indians going missing. And uh, they say that she may have gotten a ride from somebody before she disappeared from the tribal police say. And um, hold on one second here. And thanks to Kelsey uh, for posting the link about the uh, tribal police. I really, really appreciate it. She posted that today. So if you go to that thread and scroll down, there's not too many posts, only 12 posts last time I looked and uh, read it and see this is an epidemic. This is an epidemic. Murdered and missing women 
from Indian reservations and, and uh, there's so many, there are so many, so many everywhere, all over the world. If you could just look at the missing forum and post, pick a, pick a case, missing, uh, but not forgotten or missing or any of those forums on WebSleuths, WebSleuths.com, grab a thread, post an update. That would mean a lot. Okay. Okay. I've been going 34 minutes in my 10 minute show. Anyway, let's see here. Oh my gosh. Uh, Deal says Google says at least 5,500 native uh, American women missing in the USA. Yeah, it's awful. Oh, Nikki Emmerich, I am glad to help. And it's a huge problem in Canada as well. Absolutely. Uh, Nikki Emmerich says, not on a reservation, but I am Native. So thank you for bringing this issue to light. Native missing women is also a huge problem in Canada. Anything we can do to help, you know? That's right, Charlie Hunt. You do have a highway of tears in Canada. Oh, Stella Bell would never be mean to me. Don't you worry. Connie, my one flipping life says, are the tribal police asking for help with these missing cases? I would assume so, uh, I, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, priestess, right. Missing and murdered indigenous women on Facebook too. Yeah, you can, you can find them you can find people that have put together case after case after case after case, and they have their website, they have their Facebook page. It's on Web Sleuths. It's everywhere. Again. Uh. Yeah, Connie, they definitely are asking, the tribal police are asking for help. There's so much, so much that needs to be done. So, so much. Uh, Trisha is a pisser. That's actually a, more of a British term. And it's a compliment, actually. So, thank you, Stella Bella 310. Okay. Uh, Scrappy Joe just got down, which means he needs to tinkle. I need to shower, although I can't. Imagine why don't I look fresh faced and um, believe, I promise you, babe is doing so much better. It doesn't look like it here, but she's already been out running and having fun, huh, girl? Yes. She's just tired now. She just had her pain meds. I'm trying to keep her from running because I don't want her to hurt herself. And then Ivan, if you can see him blending in. Did you want to make a phone call? Is that why you wanted that there, Ivan? I need to paint a white stripe down or something because it blends in with the gray. And Boo is eternally angry at me for letting Ivan back in. So we'll see you tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Mountain, and 7 p.m. Pacific. We also will have the update on the press conference the Army will be holding to give us hopefully new information on the Vanessa Guion case. Uh, that will take place at... Uh, I was it 6 p.m. Central, I believe. Anyway, it's all over the place. So I know, Scrappy, I'm coming. Hold it. Breathe in. Think of a desert. Don't think of running water. Okay, guys, see you tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern. Thanks a lot. Talk to you then.